Miss Sato, what's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back! Act 2, Mass Effect 3. We are here, in the war room, on the Normandy. And we just completed a most solemn, I guess the conclusion of, of the first part of Mass Effect 3, Act 1. We've lost a dear friend. And I do have to say, it wasn't as sad this time. I guess, you know, I, I have played this before. It wasn't as sad this time using the Paragon options. But when you play it as a renegade and you actually shoot this person, I don't know, I think it just added a lot more emotion to their sacrifice. But all right, you may not be able to tell or you may there's some subtle differences to the war room the Primarch is gone Erdnot Rex gone so let's see what else is going on on the ship look the Turian guards gone the Krogan gone all right let's keep moving I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight. Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comp facility on Onteron. Oh, of I've course they the have. Up. All right, so we have a Cerberus attack going on. What else? Let's check our messages. All right, Hierarchy Command, impressive work. Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on Menei, I had a hard time seeing how you were flying off with one of our best generals. Oh, how flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible palavin might be saved after all with great respect oh that was general corinthus okay Sol solarian command your regrettable decision uh oh we just got a a great uh pat on the back here and now we're about to be uh chastised from Dalatros Linron, Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your actions on Tachanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the genophage will have a long-term consequence. Consequences. Once the Reaper threat has been passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the Genophage, and the Solarian Union will be among the first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day, not only for my people, but for all of galactic civilization. And you know who that's from. All right. 
Shiara, this is the consort, is it not? Greetings, Commander Shepard. Darkness is upon us all, and I am not sure. And I am not sure to what end it leads. However, it is known that the smallest actions can send ripples across the universe. That is always so for one who stands at the conflux of events. You are one such person, Shepard. This is something that was known to me from the moment you came to the Citadel. I had dreamed, but never imagined the power that one small gift could have, that it could guide someone to places only you could travel, the lost spheres, the etchings on ruins, the clues hidden in the writing seemed nothing more than shadows of a past long forgotten, but they are part of a path that has brought you to this destination. My people tell me that you have found a great weapon against the enemy, a weapon that may be the salvation of us all. I cannot believe that you, the one who found all those lost messages, who discovered all those secret places on distant worlds, has not in some way led us to this place. For such a powerful thing to lie hidden until the moment it is needed can be no accident, and that it comes after you advanced our knowledge of the ancient so much can be no accident either. You have been there at every turning point, Shepard. You defeated Saren and Sovereign, only to disappear until all thought you were lost. However, you returned to strike a blow against the Collectors and to prevent the Reapers from another swift return. It has, been, it has seemed cruel to hold you for so long after you have done so much. It has kept you safe from the forces of the enemy so that you were released now at the time of our greatest need. Think upon this, Shepard. This weapon lay hidden for thousands of years, placed there when humans were but children beneath the notice of the great and terrible forces of deep space. Yet so soon after your passage across the galaxy, it is revealed to us beneath the ruins that took out over the birthplace of your people that look out over the birthplace. I cannot help but see a guiding hand here, perhaps the will of the ancients long gone, or a destiny of which we know little. Perhaps it's just coincidence, but the cosmos is vast, and we know so little of its secrets. For some reason, you have been placed at the center of these events, and I think that you may yet have another part to play. Take care. Stay true to your values. You may let, you may yet deliver us from the darkness. All right, that was Shiara. Okay, and Erd not Rex making babies. And by the way, Shiara, that was quite long-winded, that message. Anyway, God, I hope Rex is more to the point here. Shepard, making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve, now we know she's not Eve. This is uh, Erdnot Bakara. Why is he referring to her as Eve? Anyway, is in the Kelfic Valley enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She is going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold the gun. Touche. Touche, Rex. Okay. Um, I think it's time for us to go. Let, let me just talk to Trainer. Does she have anything to add? Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? Okay. You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. If I'm gonna play a game, I need something a bit more exciting. Well, I doubt it compares to lobbing a grenade at a charging Krogan. 
few things do. Oh. Also results in fewer broken bones. All right, thank you, trainer. Okay, let's look on our galaxy map. All right, we are still in orbit around the planet Tachanka, and we are finally leaving. As you may recall, there were mission after mission here on Tachanka. I think four in total, and we're finally free to go. Okay, so let's see. What have we got here? Flashing lights. Prothean sight. Prothean sight. Where is this attack that was mentioned? Prothean sight again. Well, we're going to the Prothean sites. I do not see... Ah, here, this is going to be it, at the Kepler Verge. All right, let's see if we can... God, I hope we don't run out of time. <laughs> let's, I don't know if this is timed or not. We're going to the Crescent Nebula. First stop. Um, where is the Prothean site? Here we go. Zeline. Signal confirmed. All right, we are zero assets recovered. Let's see, what have we got here? On Helene. Helene is a post garden world that once enjoyed an Earth like oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. It is still blessed with plentiful water, but generally cold climate and extreme seasonal shifts, courtesy of a 38 degree axial tilt. All right, let's just go ahead and scan this. I'm kind of, uh, throat is dry from those dramatic readings earlier. All right, what did we recover? Hello? Okay. Avatar of Fury. And I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing with these things. This still says Prothean Sight. Are we, are we done with this? Yeah, there's nothing more here. Let's, um, where's the mass relay? Let's get back out of here. So we're going to continue our exploration of the galaxy. Okay, good. The flashing has stopped here. Wow, it stopped in these other areas too. I don't know what that means. Okay, so all is left is the Kepler Verge. Okay then. Somehow I feel like I'm being cheated though. We had all those uh, Prothean sites. I went to visit one of them and now the rest of them are gone. All right, here we are. I found something. At Omteram, but there's something else here. Let's check out Clin Cory. Clin Cory is a rock and ice planet with an atmosphere composed of chlorine and argon. The frozen surface is mainly composed of potassium with deposits of iron. All right, we're going to skip the rest of it and just go to scanning. Here we go. Ooh, we picked up Clincory Mercs and Alliance Irregulars. All right, hopefully that will help us. Okay, so we've got 100% of the assets, so we can go over here to Antaram. And this habitable, habitable world has been living in the shadow of disaster long before the Reaper War. Its moon's orbit is decaying, causing tidal disruptions and electrical storms before its eventual collision. When humans settled on Antaram, the Asari derided it as foolish. But today, the humans look 
prescient. Gosh, okay. The communications hub they set up on the planet has hundreds of quantum communicators whose information is spread through broadcast on the planet and beamed out via convoy. While Antaram has yet to be attacked by Reaper forces, it is likely just a matter of time. Okay, let's land. All right. Oh, so, you know, Rex is no longer, we no longer have the shadow of Rex. Just our regular crew. Um, Edie, let's check out your appearances. All right, we'll go with this appearance. And you're gonna take Garrus. I think he's he's one of my favorite squad mates. All right, we're gonna keep our same armor set. Oh, look, we've got some um upgrades. All right, so I think we will max out our throw. And we're going with the double throw. I think they actually took this out of multiplayer, as I guess it was just too overpowered. All right, so for Garrus. How about concussive shot amplification? I'm going with the Shredder. And for Edie. What do we got here for Unshackled Eye AI? Increase squad mate tech power and duration by 10%. Uh, we'll go with that. Alright. me of uh, the original Mass Effect with the Bring Down the Sky DLC where there was a, a woman hiding from the Batarians and communicating with Shepard over comms. Whoa, what the? Cerberus. Alright, Overload. Out. We'll keep them from hacking it. Incinerate. And this is one of the multiplayer maps. to die. Come on now. Oh, 
A Cerberus hacking device. We'd better get to it. Love this music. <laughs> med kit. Oh, I should have used the med kit first. All right, let me um go ahead. Maybe there'll be another one. Where's the hacking device? Here it is. Incinerate. I think they're looking for me. Man, her incineration is strong. I mean, she's killing these people. Overload. Oh, Garrus. Just upload the next set of coordinates. Beat me to it, Garrus. Overload, Edie. Oh ho ho! Anybody have overload? Yep, Garrus, you're up. Look out! Incineration. Alright, her health is already down. Can we get her with overload? Good. Dang. Garrus, you and that assault rifle, that, uh, that marksman rifle, whatever. Sniper rifle! Overload. Nemesis down. Alright, that's you, Edie. Come on, come on, that's it. Wow, Garrus, you were really using that concussive shot, too. I don't know how much I like the double throw. I actually uh, may have to respect this. Uh oh, is that a Cerberus shuttle? Oh, we, I, we're not on a timer, are we? Where was this device? Man, I should have paid attention. I know it was on this side. What have we got, Edie? Oh, here it is. Miss Sato, come in. Miss Sato, are you there? Miss Sato must believe breaking radio silence would mean her death. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. <laughs> Get a grip. You lose your nerve now, thousands will die. Now tell me what I need to know. Yes. Yes, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time... Just hurry. Do it. Okay, where's the device? Got it. Watch out, we got Nemesis. Oh. Alright, overload. Overload on that one too. Warp. 
Oh, of course you're gonna dodge it. Where are my people? How did you dive out of a singularity, really? Lost a member. Edie is down. Is that a phantom? Garrus is down. Oh, it is a phantom. to use uh I must have destroyed the phantom too with the biotic concussion all right, I think we're clear. to look for uh, any mods or anything. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Miss Sato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. Looks like she isn't letting the Cerberus attack scare her off. I commend her for that. Hack it out. <laughs> All right, 10,000 credits. Let's just take a, a look here. All right, so our military strength is increasing. What have we got here under Alliance? Communication arrays have now been added. Okay. It's looking better. It is looking better. Okay. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh, would he now? All right, well, let's go and speak to him. Not sure how we're doing on time. We might run a little bit over. Chief Engineer. 
Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... What Engineer Donnelly means to say is that we're confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. All right, I'll buy it. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Okay, and we did not get to uh, greet Engineer Donnelly. Welcome back. Welcome back on board. Good, Commander. Clean and focused. All right. Thanks for the second chance. Oh, you're welcome more back, than welcome. Chief. Yes. I'm sorry about Gabby. It's all my fault. All my fault. I didn't go and get my crew and went instead to try to rescue that damn robot or do his own loyalty mission. <laughs> All right, well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. And when we continue, it looks like we are probably going back to the Citadel. And I know stuff is going to start to hit the fan. All right, people, this is Hill. And I'm out.